Hi, my name is Alan Huffman. I am the co-creator of the Pirate Comedy Show. My name is Lynn Melson, and I play Molly May Rose in the Pirate Comedy Show. My experience with Renaissance festivals goes way back. Uh, I started my first Renaissance festival back in 19... and uh, I worked at the Minnesota Renaissance Fair as Lee Walker's assistant. He was the director of the festival at that time. I have actually been going to Renaissance festivals for a long time. I, I'm sure you can tell by my thick Texas accent. I am a native of Texas. And about 1980 or 1981, I attended both the Scarborough Fair and the Texas Renaissance Festival, and I went, well, these are neat. This is a lot like going to Disneyland. I was really into theme parks, and when I started getting involved in Midwest Renaissance Festivals, they were the closest thing I could find to a theme park, just without the roller coasters. Over the years that I've done Renaissance Festivals, I've done a lot of different things. I've done street characters, uh, where I've done beggars, and I've done ladies, and I've done wenches. In the past, I've done everything from uh, singing at the gate, I've been a merchant and sold roses, uh, I spent a couple of years with a comedy troupe called the Washerwell Winches, and we performed at festivals all over the Midwest. Uh, since then, I've developed a, a magical group. We've performed at the White House, that's our big claim to fame, the Glastonbury Revelers. Uh, I've performed at Renaissance festivals in multiple states, and I also have a group of uh, performers that works under the name Have Court Will Travel, and we play royalty. I had a lot of fun with the Washerwell Winches. We met some great friends. We, we played in about six different states around Iowa. Um, but one of the girls had a baby, and that kind of ended the show. So we expected to take some time off. But you know, my real favorite is being a pirate wench. There's just nothing like being a pirate wench. You get the audience participation. You get the instant gratification of the audience laughing at your jokes. And it's a lot of fun. And meanwhile, that pirate movie came out. The way the show started was a complete accident. I was actually at the Iowa State Fairgrounds um, with Lynn promoting the upcoming Amana Colony's Iowa Renaissance Festival last year. And we went and we took a break and we were walking to go get something to drink. And along the way I, I heard people shouting out things. I was dressed up in standard Renaissance garb. And people were shouting out stuff like, uh, you know, pirates like beer and R and stuff. And I was like, well, I look nothing like a pirate. And it turns out, what it was is the movie had been so successful and gotten pirates in everybody's mind that if you went anywhere in a fluffy shirt and a funny hat, they thought you were a pirate. So I was thinking, well, gosh, there's got to be a way to shamelessly commercialize on the, the trendiness of pirates. So I came up with the idea of doing a comedy pirate show. The Pirate Comedy Show is a short, 28-minute comedy production. It's based on, loosely based, on the hit Disney movie, it tells instead the true story of the blackened pearl pirate ship. Um, so I started with the idea of doing a parody of the big pirate movie, and I needed somebody to perform with me, and I wanted a, I wanted a pirate winch. After working with three winches, I figured, you know, if I couldn't get six good reasons for people to come see the show, I could at least find two. So I, I did some looking around and I, I found a, a, a woman that I knew that lived out near where the um, Iowa Renaissance Festival was going to be. We got together about eight days before the festival and actually wrote the show and uh, scavenged for props and put together some garb to kind of make us look piratey. Well, when we got there, you know, so new, we were still referring to scripts. A lot of our props weren't done yet. We had some pretty cheesy props. And we didn't hawk the show. We, we didn't want a big crowd. But we got just these huge crowds. I mean, it's just like, oh, pirates, let's go. All we had to do was have the skull and crossbone flag, and we got an audience. And I couldn't believe it. I always thought the winch act was the biggest thing ever. So pirates are more popular than winches. Go figure. And then we got asked to do the Nebraska Renaissance Fair. So we went and did the Nebraska Renaissance Fair. And then we were chosen to be entertainment for Wartburg College Renaissance-themed homecoming. Um, there was a problem with this. Alicia was really only available that first weekend. 
This was supposed to be a one-time thing, so I had to immediately find somebody else that could do it. And that's when I started talking with Lynn. So we got together and she picked up the show really, really fast. We did Wartburg College together. Uh, we had a gig at a local coffee shop in Des Moines on Halloween night. We got hired to be part of uh, some entertainment at a local shopping mall for the Halloween Beggar's Night thing. So we were doing the pirate comedy show a couple of times during the night up on a big stage in center court. And I felt like like uh, Tiffany or Debbie Gibson. Which one got their start in the mall? We, um, we got a gig at a college. They were doing Spirit Week at a local college, and they were bringing in some entertainment. And somehow we, we got found by them, and we did a show in the afternoon and a show at night. And this was, a, this was pretty good for a show that was only planned to happen once. It's a great show. The audience loves it. I've got stacks and stacks of recommendation letters. The Pirate Comedy Show is the best thing, including sliced bread. The Pirate Comedy Show is absolutely better than sex. One of the fun things that the Pirate Comedy Show does is it involves the audience, both in certain lines that the audience learns to say with the characters. The Pirate Comedy Show is funnier than the funniest thing I've ever seen other than the Pirate Comedy Show certain things like, that's what pirates do, Arr. The Pirate Comedy Show, I would write a letter of recommendation if I wasn't still busy laughing. And other lines besides, we also choose three separate characters, the three main characters that were in the pirate movie, out of the audience. The Pirate Comedy Show. <laughs> so we choose our Captain Jack. If you look up funny in the dictionary, you'll see the Pirate Comedy Show. Our Willie. We think the Pirate Comedy Show is by far the most amazing pirate comedy show we've ever seen. And our Beth. The Pirate Comedy Show was the best entertainment our festival has ever had. We won't even invite the Jousters back next year. We changed the name slightly. Instead of Elizabeth, we shortened it to Beth. Jousters? Who needs Jousters when you've got the Pirate Comedy Show? And uh, instead of William, we have Willie. Next year, the only act we're going to hire is the Pirate Comedy Show. I have literally hundreds of letters of recommendations like this written all by me, and I'll be glad to send them to you. And Jack is, well, Jack is just Jack. Well, I don't know about you, but I thought that was pretty good. One of my favorite things about being the Pirate Wench in the Pirate Comedy Show is being hired to go to different Renaissance festivals. I think your Renaissance Festival could have us. Meeting new people, seeing new places. I think we could be had by your Renaissance Festival. Hire us! Hire us! I mean, after all, this is Des Moines, Iowa that I live in. Here I am, I'm sitting on a big rock in Des Moines, but I could be at your festival. Are we hired yet? Are we hired yet? We, we can, can do, do this, this all day. day! And we do. The pirates all performing plays upon the pirate stage. There's pirates this and pirates that. Today they're all the rage. You see a pirate everywhere, it makes me lose my mind. They might as well be stormtroopers, they're from a different time, 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 tiddly time, time, time. Where is the Renaissance? We can do this all day! Diet Cola Light, I think it's enough. makes no sense at all. Did I pay $17 to walk around the mall? Where is the Renaissance in the festival? Bo, bo, better leave bo, bo, See that? He's got a turkey leg in his hand. So what? They didn't have turkeys in Europe until the Spaniards brought them over, and they didn't make it to England until 1524. How did you know that? I looked it up on the internet. Oh, that's very period. And speaking of period, I'll have you know, piracy has been around for thousands of years. Pirates have? Yes, they were called privateers back then. Did they wear the stripy socks and have the buckles on the shoes? Well, no, they didn't dress like that yet, but they were still pirates. So even though they didn't look the same, they were called the same thing, so they're okay at a festival. Pirates were around during the Renaissance, yes. So I could come as a highway patrolman since they had sheriffs there too, right? Well, you have to have security. Look, is there anyone here that I can talk to that I can... Do you ever feel that you're a pawn or a puppet, as it were?